Hi and welcome to another Wiggly Wild show. Today we're going to be looking at how to look after stick insects. The most common stick insects are Indian stick insects and they eat things like privet, which is your normal hedge plant. Um, and with all the leaves, make sure that you wash them well with water that has either been standing around for a while or has already been boiled. And make sure you don't bring in any spiders or anything that's going to hurt your stick insects. And they will also be eating bramble, which is your plant that you find blackberries on. Um, common weed, very easy to find. Um, if you can't find it in your garden, look in your local park. And these ones are kept very similar to Indian stick insects, but this one's called Diaphredi gigantea. It's also known as the giant bean stick insect because they look like a green bean. And um, they just need a big cage. You want a cage that's at least double the length, double the height of your stick insect so that when they shed, they can shed fully. Um, and that's when lots of problems tend to happen is when they're shedding. These ones eat bramble and they also eat eucalyptus, which you might not find um, every day, but I happen to have a, a eucalyptus tree in my garden, so that's very useful. Um, and they tend to prefer the newer leaves for these ones. With the brambles, make sure you don't give them the new leaves because new leaves can be quite toxic for brambles. These are my favorite stick insects. These are McClay's spectres or prickly stick insects. They're originally from Australia. This one with the wings is a male. He can fly, but he's not very good at it. And this little one, I think, is a, going to be a male. It's a juvenile at the moment. It's got about another two or three sheds. These ones are also very easy to keep, and they also eat brambling eucalyptus leaves. You might also be able to feed them a bit of privet as well. So this is the flexarium where my stick insects currently live, but I have also kept them in plastic cages like this one and they just prefer to have height rather than width. I use a plant mister for spraying them and I give them a good watering all over the leaves rather than actually on the sticks themselves and I water them once or twice a day depending on which stick insects you have. These beautiful leaf insects are the last ones that you can try. They're not for the beginner, they're for if you've managed to keep stick insects a, a while because these ones need a lot of ventilation. So either a fully mesh cage or one that has lots of grooves. With all the stick insect cages, you do need to make sure that baby stick insects can't escape because particularly with the Indian ones, um, they reproduce quite quickly and the babies are very, very small and can get out of um, just regular small grooves. These ones also require some heat, so either putting the cage on a heat mat, um, half of it, so they can choose where to go, or um, also um, you can put it on, I've got mine on my snake vivarium because that gets pretty warm as well. These ones eat eucalyptus brambles and also oak leaves. Um, they are better off when they're younger being fed purely eucalyptus leaves um, because that's what they normally would get in the wild. With all the stick insects, if you are lucky enough to get any eggs, then just put them on some kitchen roll, make it damp and leave it and just spray them all the time. Make sure if there is any mold growing, you wipe the mold off and then spray them again. Um, the leaf insects can take about five months um, to hatch, the same with the Maclay's spectre. Um, so don't give up on them if they haven't hatched in a couple of months.